Hey everyone, I uh, just wanted to review quickly a game that I discovered called Live for Speed. I noticed it recently in the software st uh, store of uh, Ubuntu. And it's over here. Although, and it has, you know, five stars. But you'll notice some of the comments saying that it's not working. Not working, not working, it's not working. One person says it's awesome, another person says it's not working, does not work, and so on. Doesn't work. Uh, I downloaded it through Software Store as well initially. I installed it, and it was missing some files, and it didn't work. Somehow the snap did not install properly. So, not all is lost, because you can uh, look up um, the website called Running LFS on Linux uh, at this URL. And it'll basically get you up to date and installed. You have to just do it outside of the software store. Um, now, I already have Wine set up, so I didn't have to do anything special. I just uh, followed instructions later down the page. But if you don't have Wine set up or you're missing some things, you might have to start with the basic setup section to prepare your system. There's a few um, sections here where you can install and configure Wine, which, again, I already had done uh, before. So I'll, all I had to do was basically start from this section and follow a few simple commands. The first one was uh, to download the LFS S26J setup file. So you can do that using wget and that's the URL to download the file from. Once you're downloaded, run to go, jump to the directory that it's in and just type wine space and the name of the executable and that'll set it up. Once it's set up, you're going to want to change your directory to where it installed, which is usually wine drive CLFS and then use wine to run LFS. So let's get started. Here's LFS, just the website. You can see it's got lots of features. It's a pretty cool uh, game. Um, you get the demo version initially, but if you want to buy a license, which gives you access to more cars and tracks, this is the info, info here. And then you uh, upgrade your account. And I also recommend that you create an account because you'll need to do that later in order to also add even the, some demo updates and files which you'll see are needed to get your textures running because initially the textures are kind of weird at least on Linux um, anyway let's start the game so I'm just gonna uh, run jump over to the drive well I'm already in there so I can just do the same um, we're gonna change we're gonna run wine LFS and here we go it's gonna go through a few configuration steps um, and then it should jump up. If it's the first time you're running it bef uh, after you boot your system, you might take a little longer because it has to initialize Wine. I've already run it today, so it just jumps right in. So here we go. Let's start with uh, single player. You have a limited selection of tracks unless you register. You'll notice if you click on other tracks, it'll say S1 or S2, depending on which track it is. So those are different license levels. But Blackwood is free. Hit OK. It'll load up uh, cars. You've got several cars. You can go to garage and pick between this car and you have the GTI. Um, now, if you get other cars, for example, if you want this one, you're going to need to get S2 license for it. So, again, demo starts off with a simple car. So let's do it that one. You can choose different uh, faces or you can choose just bland colors as well. So let's go OK and go. Now I already configured my controls. If you hit escape you'll hit options and there's a number of controls here. Under controls for steering you can steer with the wheel, mouse, keyboard, joystick. You've got all sorts of options. Many many different buttons and features. So I'll get, let you decide on what you're gonna do with that. I'm gonna start driving and just show you some basics of getting around. This is just the uh, driver's view okay I'm heading down the track some people don't like to see the windshield and drivers so you can do that you can also hit the V button and get a sort of a chase view which I'm doing here Ooh, okay and um, you know there's another several views you can do top view kind of interesting can't really see ahead of the road very much that's the problem uh, but it, you know it's fun then there's this uh, sort of the camera view 
So as you race down the track, this is the hardest one to control, really, because you're, it's like remote control racing, except here you, you're, you're updating your position periodically. I'm not sure when it's going to update the next camera, but I'm going to start losing track of the car. There you go. And so on. So it's, uh, it's interesting. And then we're back in here. Okay. So um, let me just quickly show you what I like. It's the multiplayer feature. And what happens with multiplayer, we can just end the race here, is that you can get, you go back, you can join uh, hosts. So once you log in and you actually create an account and update the game, you will get a list of um, different rooms. So you'll notice there's different uh, features. You can see what tracks there are. Um, some of them you're not going to be allowed to go in if you're not at that level. For example, S2, I don't think I can join necessarily. I'm going to cruise around this one. Let's say here's one here with, uh, you know, with a few people in it already. Drift Hain. So it looks like just people playing around in here. And here we are. So we're now in there. This is just observing what's going on in this particular room. To start, you're going to escape and go to garage because you got to get a car. So I'm going to get this car and I'm going to join. And here we are. Okay. Let's start driving. And we're going to see what's going on here. Now there's usually a number of people just playing around at the back of the pits, driving and smashing into each other. Um, you know that's one of the the features you'll see is is oh there's going to be some people who are just playing around here, learning the car, and uh, doing a bit of crash test uh, derby style play, um, and you're going to have a few people racing down the track, and you can see that by the map you'll notice there's a map on in the corner there and that will give you an idea of where people are so I'm gonna start heading down the out of the pits here and down the track and see if I can find anybody else um, I'm the green icon you can see there's a few orange and yellow I'm not sure exactly what orange and yellow stand for um, all I know is I'm green there's somebody there who's uh, wiped out and now I've just gotten smushed and you can see my front end is toast oh and now I have to back up so you're gonna wanna go you're gonna change gears into reverse anyone else there no oh boom okay so he just smashed my side up he looks he doesn't look very clean either as far as his car goes. He just oh and there we go. I am now upside down on the track. I see pavement. Okay, no worries. The beauty of this game is if you do end up completely flipped over and there's a, somebody coming down the track. So let's see what happens. Are they going to smash into me and flip me over? Uh yeah, there we go. <laughs> So anyway, it's a lot of fun. People people will play around with you. There we go. Whoa. Oh, and I'm up. There we go. Uh, and I'm on the grass. Can I move? Or am I completely... I think my car has been toasted. You can see there's smoke coming out of it. Okay. So anyway, not all is lost. After you play around like that a bit and you want to reset your car, the beauty is all you have to do is hit the space bar and your car is back to new. See? Brand new. So anyway, you can keep playing like this in this, this sort of free-for-all mode and uh, have fun with it and explore the game play. Um, but there you have it, just a quick review, as I said, of the game. This guy's going backwards. I don't know where he's supposed to be heading, but uh, going backwards in the pits. I'm going to just go right through all this stuff. And there's a, some people just kill each other on these pit lanes, like there, you see? That guy just went. I'm going to go after this guy. Boom. <laughs> All right. Anyway, a lot of fun playing around with this thing. And I think 
that's it for now. All right. Before everybody starts driving around, I'm going to head back this way, see how far I can get to the camera. Oh, oh, he disappeared. Oh, no. And that was not good. Oh, wait, let's try to get... Oh, reverse. There we go. Are we still there? Still driving? Somebody in front of me there? Or oh, he turned in. Oh, by the way, you can use your parking brake to d do some nice uh, drifts and spins. So I like doing here. We're going to go to the end here, and here we go. See? And then reverse. And I, my car got fixed. I don't know how that happened. Oh, major damage. Okay, so it reset. That's what's the... Because you just saw the front end of the car completely reset there. And, uh, oh, do I still have my parking brake on? Why is it not working? Refueling. Oh, that's interesting. So if you if you go into one of those areas, you can refuel, and it'll fix your uh, your car. All right, I'm gonna turn around again. There we go. Okay. So I'm gonna leave the game. Back. Let's just exit. There's a credit screen at the end. Um, it's quite current. It's up to 2019. You can see all the people involved there, but. Please, uh, you know, check out the game. Let me know what you think. And if uh, you have any comments, please leave them down below. As always, thanks for watching. And please rate the video. Give us a thumbs up. Bye for now.